Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 13-year-old female with anterior knee pain, and we are doing an MRI of the knee here to figure out what's going on, and we look here on this side view, looking at the patient in profile, we see the kneecap off here on the left, and this is the front of the knee here, the kneecap's in the front, and over here behind it is the femur, the big thigh bone here, and down below the knee joint, this is the level of the knee joint, we see the tibia, the main big bone below the knee, and there's a little bone off to the edge called the fibula. So these bones all look normal. You may notice this horizontal band coming across. This is the growth plate of the femur up top here. This is the growth plate of the tibia down below looking perfectly normal. And so this patient had a normal exam except for one thing in the front of the knee here, the kneecap. We see the patella or the kneecap right here, and we see this patellar tendon that comes off the bottom down to here. This is a little bit too long. This is called the patellar tendon. And it comes down here, and normally this is about 4.5 or 4 centimeters. This is 5.5 centimeters, a little bit long, and also the kneecap is a little bit high relative to the femur. Usually the middle of the kneecap is about at the level of this line, so this patella is high riding. We call that patella alta. And when the patellar tendon is elongated congenitally, then the patella can sublux or slip out laterally. We call this patellar subluxation. So this is another view where we're going right through the kneecap to see its position relative to the femur. So this is the kneecap. We see this gray band is a cartilage. It looks perfect. This dark black band is the cortex. And this is the femur. So the apex of the patella, the middle of the patella is right here. If we go down to the femur, we see the middle of the femur is over here. So it shifted. There's a little bit of a difference between the middle of the femur, this big bone, and the middle of the patella. So the patella is subluxed laterally. We call this mild lateral patellar subluxation and also high patella, so patella alta. And these patients can have patella femoral instability and they also get a little bit of impingement of the fat right over here the edge of the femur and the patella right where they come together is a little bit of fat here can get pinched. This patient has just minimal fatty impingement, very, very subtle. Most patients who have this have much more bright signal right here in the fat. So that is what's going on in this patient. They have a patellar tracking disorder. The kneecap is subluxed laterally. They have a high patella, and they're having some minimal signs of fatty impingement, and that's what the cause of their anterior knee pain is. So thank you so much. Hope you have a great day.